Oh, hi Learn and Play friends, it's me, Miss Emily. I was busy having a tea party and I got a little bit thirsty, so I was drinking some of my water. Did you know, when we drink water, it is in its liquid form. And water also comes in other types of forms. And we have just been talking about the seasons and the weather in our past videos. Did you know that water is seen in the weather and in the seasons? For example, we can see water in the weather when it is raining or in the season winter when it is snowing we can see water changing forms and turning into ice. Let's try to look around our house and see if we can explore the three forms of water together. The liquid form, the solid form and the gas form. We are going to have a look at water, ice and steam. Come along, let's go. We can find water in its liquid form at home by finding a sink in our bathroom or our kitchen. If you find your tap, you can turn it on and you can see water coming out as its liquid form. Let's collect some water in a jug and we're going to have a look at how much fun we can have with water in its liquid form. Water in its liquid form can take the shape of other containers. It can change its shape. We can test this by collecting some containers and pouring the water out into them. We can see that the water can easily change shape and form into the shape of the container that it's poured into. This is a really fun transferring activity. We can practice our hand-eye coordination by pouring the water into different containers while we also watch how the water changes shape. Let's take our water and turn it into ice. I'm going to pour my water out into an ice cube tray and then we're going to wait a couple of hours while we put our ice cube tray into the freezer and then we will see how the water has changed form into ice. In it goes! It is very cold in the freezer. This is going to help us to change our water into ice. We have waited very patiently and now our water has turned into ice cubes. It has changed its form. It is now a solid. When water is in its solid ice form, it's very difficult for the ice to change its shape. And so, unlike the liquid water, it will not change shape to fit inside a container. We can try and put our ice cubes into our different containers. Oh, but we can see that there are some gaps. The ice is a solid, so it will not change shape to fit inside the container like the water. Let's try another experiment with our ice cubes. We can try and turn it back into the water liquid form. I'm going to use the heat from my hands to try and melt the ice. Oh, can you see that? It is already starting to melt. 
and it is turning back into the water form. Let's try to find water in the gas form. We're going to use a kettle for this activity, so you will need an adult to help you. Instead of cooling the water this time, we are going to heat the water. The water will heat up in the kettle and it will start to produce steam. Let's have a look. Now that our kettle has boiled, let's try to pour some water out and see if we can see the steam rising up. Did you catch it? The steam is rising up from the piping hot water and emerging into the air. Well, there you have it. Water in its three forms found right in your home. Now here's your challenge. Can you go and find water in its liquid form, in its solid form and in its gas form? Off you go. See you next time, learn and play friends. Bye.